Hello, and welcome to today's trending contract, the Kronstad Takedown, set in Miami, and supplied to us today by S. Becker HB. I hope I got that right. So, moving on to our briefing, Agent 47, your mission involves eliminating five key targets, Edward Ted Menendez, a retired officer attending a secure event, Robert Knox, CEO of Kronstadt Industries, and his daughter Sierra, present a major race. Moses Lee, a heavily guarded race car driver, and Maxwell Rutter, a corporate executive evolved in illicit networks, use precision and ensure, ensure a secure exit. Good luck. 47. So moving on to our targets, and today we have five of them, along with a free map. So for today's challenge, we'll be starting as the waiter, and we're going to be bringing with us a vial of lethal poison, a lockpick, and a silence pistol. So, right from the start and off the bat, this will not be a quick run. We will be spending quite some time waiting around. So, first of all, we're going to take care of Mr. Rutter, and we're going to lockpick our way into his office here. And in the corner of the room, we will find a golf club. And over by the window, we will find our target and a guard. So we're going to render the guard unconscious with the golf club, and then eliminate Mr. Rutter with our silence pistol. And then from there, we're going to head out of the driver's lounge and over to the Kowoon Motorhome, where um, Moses Lee will attend after the race. Uh, this is where some of the waiting time will come in. Uh, you can stop the race early if you wish. Uh, I chose not to, uh, just because I'm lazy. So we're going to head to the rear of the Kronstadt Motorhome, wait for the Enforcer server to move away, and then we're going to approach the uh, TV area there and add our lethal poison to the bottle of beer and then from there we're going to make our way over to the medical center I'm going to go around the back way to avoid any enforcer entanglements and we're going to have to duck down I could go around the back of the hotel I'm also going to grab this crowbar just in case uh, we may not need it so, once the uh, medic has moved away, we can make our way around to the rear of the medical facility, take out the camera above the pit entrance, and into the storeroom where we will replace our lethal poison, gain a medic's outfit, and on the cabinet on the wall behind us, we will also gain a lethal syringe. So, our next target will be Sierra Knox, and we're going to take care of her at the medical facility. So, we're going to turn off the generator at the back of the medical facility. That will get the attention of the doctor, and when he goes off to investigate, we are going to add our lethal syringe to the IV drip here. Now, unfortunately, the... Um, Kronstad driver, this gentleman right here, has just blocked us. Uh, we need to turn on the sink in the bathroom to get rid of him, otherwise Sierra Knox will not come here. And because he slowed us down, we're going to have to re-distract the doctor once again. So we're just going to make our way back around to the generator and let the doctor go and investigate for a second time and this time round we can make our way straight into the bathroom overflow the sink and we can now move on and that is three of our targets taken care of although two of them are still involved in the race 
and will be some time yet. So in the meantime we're going to move on to our final two targets and that would be Mr Menendez and Mr Knox. Now Mr Menendez is located at the Dolphin Fountain so we're going to have to trek all the way over there and we're going to cut through the underpass underneath the racetrack just to make things that little bit quicker. So there is Mr Menendez and we want to make sure that he begins his phone call. Uh, I've done this before and he left me stood waiting for him for 25 minutes because he hadn't started his phone call. And as soon as I went and stood in front of him, he began. So once Menendez begins his phone call, we can then make our way into the little gardener's area here. And once again, we will be waiting and we're just going to wait for Mr. Menendez to finish said phone call. And then he will come over to this area to have a cigar. There is also a patrolling guard. Now, depending on your timing, uh, you may have to wait for the guard to leave and Menendez will leave at the same time. Now, luckily enough, that is quite rare and the guard will leave the area first and as soon as the guard is far enough away as he is leaving now there is Mr Menendez so the guard is now far enough away we're going to turn on or off the generator here I believe it's on and that will get the attention of Teddy and when he comes in to investigate we have a myriad of options available to us we could break his neck we could shoot him in the back shoot him in the head we could shred him in the shredder or in this instance we could electrocute him with the puddle behind us that we are about to create and the live wire so we're just going to drag menendez over to the grass where we were standing turn on the tap and create a nice big puddle and then turn on the generator so four targets down one more to go and we have one last lethal poison available to us and our one last target is robert knox who happens to have a problem with his eyes if the air is too dry so that's exactly what we are going to create for him and he will go to the bathroom to take some eye drops that we have specially prepared in advance so we're going to make our way from the gardener's area around the camera at the foot of the underground car park lockpick our way into the overpass make our way up the stairs and then straight into the Kronstadt building Checking that the coast is clear, we can exit the elevator shaft and make our way out the window to our right, up the drain pipe to the security office, where we will encounter two security guards. There they are, currently engaged in a conversation. One of the guards will eventually move away and also eventually will go for a cigarette break just outside the door you can see through the window there when he does that we are then gonna duck in through the window and pounce on his colleague as long as he doesn't be looking at us which he has just thankfully moved into the right position we're gonna render him unconscious and we're gonna dump him out of the window and while we're here we can take out the surveillance system if we so wish uh, I am being lazy again and I'm not going to cross the room, we'll just shoot it and then we're going to hop out the window after our quarry here and then take his outfit and that's a little bit better, always feel better wearing a suit. So from here we're going to make our way into the bathroom, add our lethal poison to the eye drops and then we're going to make our way down the corridor to the office area at the far end there is an enforcer present as you can see Robert Knox has just turned up as well 
So we're going to turn on the air conditioning unit, which will make Robert Knox get rather ill. Again, avoiding the enforcer by going the long way. We're then going to make our way into the bathroom and into the toilet cubicle. And we will await the arrival of Mr. Knox. Now, he is currently engaged in a, a debate with his researchers. But eventually he will move into the office, his eyes will start to irritate him and he will then come to the bathroom to apply his eye drops and find them rather unhelpful. So with all of our targets now technically dealt with, all that's left for us to do is to await the end of the race which should be ending about now anyway and for Sierra Knox and Moses Lee to go through their usual routines and Sierra will be called to the medical center where she will have a very bad time and eventually because Moses won the race he has to go through the whole podium ceremony first of all he will then make his way to the motorhome and have a nice refreshing glass of beer so after several minutes, uh, Sierra Knox has found out that her vitamin injection boost was a little bit too powerful. And then very shortly after that, another couple of minutes maybe, we will get Moses Lee going down from the beer. And as we are waiting right by the helicopter, all that's left for us to do is to climb in, start the engines, and exit Miami. So there we go, one more trending contract taken care of, and we'll get confirmation all of our targets have been eliminated according to plan, and we will gain a silent but slow assassin rating. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.